I don't know how how this is ever going to get better or how I will ever get over this fear of mine. I have fat Punjabi jeans that I can never escape. I hope I'm not poor again. I hope I don't have to sleep and live with rats as I have at some point in life. I am 100% scared of the dark and I think it's going to be this way my entire life. Growing up, I realized that my biggest fear was actually people dying. There are moments where I you know just imagine that you know I live in a world where my parents are not there anymore, where uh, my sister is not there anymore and I just can't think beyond that i i just start crying and by the time i'm you know 40 50 i will not be able to walk down the stairs or up the stairs you know so that's been like it's been a huge fear all my life well my biggest fear in life is uh, the vulnerability that change brings you know like i feel like as much as it's amazing to have things alter and change around you I feel like I really, really fear being so vulnerable or maybe screwing up, you know, when change is happening. It's because of this incident that happened when I was 10 years old and since that I have been extremely scared of the dark and um, I feel that as, as soon as the lights switch off, there is this energy around me that I just cannot cope up with. I'm, I'm terrified of, you know, like, spending my nights alone uh, I think you know part of that like you know part of the reason uh, why I always want to do something on the weekends is uh, because I can't sit in my room just staring as middle class kids we were all taught to succeed but nobody taught us to fail we were supposed to treat failure as a respectful learning experience but sometimes failure can completely bring you down and life's never the same again. I've been petrified of not being accepted. When my grandparents passed away, I, I was very close to them. So when they passed away, I thought that, you know, first I thought it's the end. And then I thought that I will get over this. Because people say that, you know, when you face your fears, you get over them. But honestly, I, I never got over it. I still can't look at their pictures for too long without crying. And I'm still terrified of losing my parents. I'm so scared whenever, you know, they have the slightest cough or illness or stomachache or anything. It's, it's the worst thing to live with it. I have grown up surrounded by women that I am genetically connected to who are overweight and have struggled with a lot of health issues because of that. Ever since I was a kid, I was not that cool kid on the block. I wasn't the one people came up to and said, wow, you know, that was really cool what you did. I was not the girl that guys fell in love with, you know, at the first sight. We never spoke about it. It was never something that we were made to understand or we addressed directly, you know. Um, so what I never understood growing up was that all of them actually, yes, all of them gained that weight uh, after childbirth, you know, that was information that was just never made available to me. So what ended up happening was that uh, I developed this irrational fear of gaining weight, being unhealthy, and I told myself and I convinced myself that, you know, I have fat Punjabi jeans that I can never escape. If I am made to sleep alone in a room, even if the lights are on, I get extremely scared. I used to freelance and that required me just sitting in my room all cooped up uh, like 24-7 because you know when you freelance you just don't have any strict work hours so you're working whenever and sometimes I, I there were days where it became that you know I'll just stay up at night and sleep all day and I think I, I, I started losing my shit a bit. That's one of my biggest fears, you know, that I, I don't want to get into something and have it not work out for me and maybe come out learning some 59 lessons but with no money and completely like, you know, down and out. So I had a fairly active lifestyle. Even so, I was always a little plump. 
so you know i had just resigned myself to this fate of mine that i'm always going to be a little plump at every place that i went offices college i was scared to not fit in so i did things to change myself and ended up being the worst version of anyone that i could ever be so i went for the spiritual camp when i was about 10 years old and um, i it was organized by this god woman and in one of her speeches she said that the only way to get over your fear is to encounter it and uh, i took her advice i went back home and for about 2 years i i kept trying to probably venture out in the dark or or just like walk around in my room uh, when all the lights were turned off but um i was really scared i mean this one time i swear i saw some evil spirit walking towards me or some figure walking towards me i, I i'm sure there wasn't anyone there but uh, my imagination was such that i always imagined that the moment the lights are off there is something really really negative around me and i need to shield myself from it as much as i can i realized something it's not just me it's like a lot of other people in the world and i'm never going to be pretty enough i'm never going to be slim enough i'm never going to be tall enough i'm never going to be fair enough i'm never going to be cool enough for a lot of people in this world every time i say yes to something i spend hours and days and months just wallowing and sulking and just stressing over what will it lead to i hope it doesn't go wrong i hope it doesn't like you know fart in my face i hope i don't mess up i really thought that as i'm going to grow up or as i'm going to move out of the house it's going to go away but it really hasn't uh i have because i have the fear of the dark i have this fear of living alone and um, i feel that if i were to live alone all by myself in a house i would collapse at 25 i discovered yoga and i uh did yoga i practiced yoga three times a week for three months and then i did a teacher training course which was six weeks long during those six weeks i lost all the excess weight and that was the first time in my life that i found the courage to admit to myself that i had always been scared of gaining weight i am not trying to be someone else i am not trying to force myself to do something i don't want to do the flawed me is way better than the perfect someone else that i was trying to be i want to be remembered you know like maybe i won't have kids so you know there would be no one to pass on stories about me to my grandkids and you know their grandkids i'm not scared of me dying i'm not i'm not scared of death but i'm scared of other people dying i'm scared of my boyfriend dying i'm scared of something happening because you know when life is happy and you have people who love you i feel like it's the most beautiful thing in the world and losing that is like something sometimes when the universe just wants to crush you that's what it does once i took the world the society the imaginary people that we feel are judging us things got better and i became who i probably want to become i'm on the way i am not there yet but i'm pretty sure i'm going to get there things have only gotten better every bad phase has led to a good phase so somewhere this is a this is a paranoid little you know fear it's it's not entirely true you know sometimes life tests you if you're honest to your cause if that change that you've undertaken if that thing that you've started or you know said yes to comes from a place of honesty you won't completely lose everything because you're operating from a place of some amount of logic it's it's inevitable this fear of mine and you know that's the reason like i it's so overwhelming because it's unavoidable it's something that happens to everybody first rule perhaps of getting the fuzz out of your life you know of of getting to know your issues and dealing with them is to talking about them or communicating you know and seeking help if they are getting in our way while yes on the one hand i uh, have learned that it's something that i can deal with that i can you know that doesn't have to be my fate i don't have to be overweight and unhealthy but at the same time i still fear that i will what happens if i no longer have the time to do yoga 90 minutes every day it's been a lot of time uh, since that incident happened that triggered my fear for the dark but um uh, sadly it it hasn't um, 
you know diminished my fear in any way and um, and i'm trying i try every day to 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 you know take baby steps and to probably um, uh, cope with this fear but um, yeah i fail i fail almost every time i'm always going to wish that i outlive um, none of the people that i love because i know it's a crazy thing you know i i hope that i die before my parents and uh, it's insane but uh, i can't live without them i mean i need them through throughout my life i need that umbrella of support over my head and to protect me and just to be there i have my friends i have the love of my life you know and for the time being i have my parents so i'm okay so if there's someone out there who's failing the way that i do i assure you you're not alone and this is going to change to ab hum aa gaye jhooto par theek hai aap logon ke liye to ab aap ek kaam kariye ukha ja kar share subscribe aur like aur comment kar dijiye